morning or afternoon everybody. Um, so I'm Isabel from Bambini Crowns and just here to give you a demonstration of both our crowns today. So that will be the Milan which we've got down here um, and there's the other colourway up behind me. Um, so that's our modern multifunctional and I will also be showing you the features of our York. So our classic sprung crown just here. Um, now, before we start, um, please, if you have any comments or questions along the way, make sure you do type them in the comments box. Um, Jerry is here um, off screen. Um, he'll try and reply to them or just let me know what I need to show you in response to those questions. So let's get into it. Um, so firstly, a bit about us here at Bambini. So who we are, we are an Australian company and the Bambini brand is our brand. So it's owned and operated from here within Australia. Um, and our reason for being is threefold. So first and foremost, we wanted to bring you back the Sprung Pram experience. So um, if you go back to our classic Sprung York here, so this is the very traditional style pram and you can see that it's completely sprung and I'm able to rock that as well as push that. Um, so we wanted to bring back that experience. Um, I know for myself, when I was looking for a pram three years ago, I could not find one that style anywhere. They were all rigid. Um, there was no ability to rock my baby. So we wanted to bring that back. Obviously, the traditional style is not for everybody. So that's where the Milan comes into it. So here's Milan. Um, and this is a lot similar to the type of pram you obviously will be used to seeing out and about compact fold and swivel wheels. Um, so, but in keeping with the sprung pram experience um, we have actually got a unique sprung feature on the back axle um, it's a little bit hard for me to show you on the screen but basically I can do the same thing with this Milan as I can with York and that is I'm able to rock the pram so you're getting the same experience um, but in the modern look so that's our first reason for being. Second reason is to bring back, you might have guessed this already actually, is to bring back some style to it. So um, having a good look at the colours used, the fabrics used, the badge work, and really bring some style to the game and not just stay with the black, boring looking prams, which majority of them are very similar looking. We wanted something that really stood out from the crowd and set you apart and said something about you as a parent. And thirdly and importantly, and this also goes back to having your pram say something about you. We have moved away from mass pram production and these prams um, have put a lot of time and effort into producing an ethical pram. So our prams are all made in Europe. Um, so we're able to draw down on centuries of craftsmanship and experience that's held within that manufacturing base. But also we have put a lot of time into looking at the materials used. Where possible, we have used natural fibers and for instance, where we've got um, a leather fabric, which is so key for the durability and wipe clean properties, we've actually used eco leather, so it's still animal friendly. So that tells you a bit about us. That's our passion is to be sprung prams, stylish and ethical. So if that says, if that, any of that rings true with you, then absolutely stay around for this demonstration and we're we'll actually get into the features of our prams. So I will start with Milan which is the modern multifunctional. Um, so Milan comes in two colorways. So down on the floor here, I have um, predominantly it's black, this one. Um, and up behind me is the other colorway, which is blue. So it is hard for you to see on the screen. Um, I'll tell you what, so you can actually see a little bit closer the type of fabrics used and the color difference. I'll just pull the baby bag down off this one and bring it in close. So there you go, that's the blue, so it's like a deep denim blue there, um, a comparison with the black, you can see that on the screen hopefully. Um, and then so it's black and a blue and they're both coming with the same tan and cream eco leather trim. So that's the Milan colours and I'm showing you now the black one down here on the floor. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, when you do buy a Bambini pram, another in, important thing to know that we do include all matching accessories. So we're trying to make the whole pram decision an easy choice for you. Um, you're not worried about hidden extras and looking at your budget. Um, and so we have actually included every kind of accessory you would need within your pram. 
Okay, so sorry about that, we'll get going. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, we've included all matching accessories. So you get the baby bag, which is actually integrated to the frame here, um, and you are able to hook, unhook that if you wanted to. So that comes with the pram. You also get winter fabrics for both the bassinet and the toddler seat. So obviously I've got the bassinet currently on the um, frame here. Um, so we also have a foot cover toddler seat for the toddler seat as well. Um, also a bottle holder just here on the handlebar. This is the same for both our prams, by the way. All of this comes with it. And also a rain cover and this insect net for both. Okay, so let's look at some of the features. I'll show you first the bassinet. Sorry, quick aside. She's probably better off out the room. Just you stay out with her. That's what she wants. Okay, so we'll look at the bassinet features. So um, obviously we've got the foot cover here, I showed you, and that comes with it. So just before I do remove that, I'll show you, it does actually have a flap here, which is magnetically held down, but I can clip it up here to the hood, and that gives me, um, that completely sheds the interior of the bassinet. Obviously you still have the airflow through there, the little opening, but your baby won't be in any harsh sunlight. So I remove the foot cover, it's a pop of button either side. Um, we've made that as a conscious decision, so you can remove that um, foot cover quickly and easily if you wanted to. So put that to one side, let's look at the bassinet. This is actually an extra sun visor here, this cream section. So I can tuck it, you can tuck it in if you don't need that, or just pop it out. Um, under this zip opening at the top is a carry handle. So I'll come back to that when I remove the bassinet from the chassis. But yeah, in there is a carry handle and you can access it with this little zip opening. Going on down, we've obviously got the full eco leather um, hood just here. And at the back here, or underneath here, is a zip opening which opens a mesh panel. So I've just opened that now. So pull that around and I can pull this flap of fabric down and that is a complete mesh panel at the back of the tram. So you've got airflow, if you've got the hood up to shade, you've still got full airflow, it's quite a warm day. So um, if you don't need that, obviously just flap the fabric up and then zip it closed and you're good to go. So this is it all the way around there. Now the hood is adjustable and um, to do that it's a little push button either side on this hinge point. So I'm just pushing those buttons in and that releases it. I can drop the hood down. Okay. I'll swing the um, whole crown round now and show you the interior of the bassinet. So let's have a look at this. Now as I mentioned we did have used natural fibres on our crowns wherever possible. So everything you're looking at in the interior here is natural fibres. So uh, the fabric here is cotton and then the padding which is on the sides and obviously the complete mattress thickness is bamboo fibre. Um, so that's the best you can get, it's hypoallergenic, temperature regulating and obviously constant airflow. So um, underneath the mattress here we have a feature which is unique to our bassinets and that is a sit up support. So that's great for two reasons. Firstly, um, when your baby's getting a little older and wants to be able to sit up and see the world, you can do that um, with them in this bassinet. But also, if your baby suffers from reflux, um, it's very uncomfortable for them to lie flat. So this enables you to elevate the head so they can be comfortable within the bassinet. Um, just the last point to note on the linings is they are removable and can be washed in a gentle 40 degree machine wash. So it's a zip zipper that goes all the way around the exterior of the bassinet here. So you would unzip that, pull that lining out and you can wash it and get it back to fresh and new for your baby. So that's the bassinet features. The only other point to note or the thing I want to show you is um, the base of the bassinet um, and the rocking punctuality we have there. So I'll show you that now. Firstly, I'll just remove it from the chassis. So to do that, it's just literally a little lever either side. So I'm just, there you go, and that's now released. Now, because I have a carry handle here, I can just leave it resting in the attachment housing and then pick it up with the carry handle. There you go. Swing the chassis out the way, and I'll just show you now. Um, our bassinets have a solid base, so that's for safety. It also means if you're switching between vehicles or whatever, doesn't matter if you pop it down on um, rough ground or damp ground, you don't need to worry about ruining the bassinet. 
However, the shape is also curved, um, so you can rock it. So there you go, I've just rocked that. So it does mean you can bring the bassinet into the house, leave your chassis or wheels in the car, and you can still rock your baby with just the bassinet. So there you go. Um, there are little feet on the bottom of the bassinet as well, so you can switch that off if you didn't want it. So you can also make it a completely stable bassinet. So let's pop that one out of the way and I'll bring the chassis back in and show you the chassis features and then we will switch on to the toddler seat. Okay. So here's the Milan chassis. Let me just get that into a position where I can see it. So I'll just remove the baby bag as I mentioned earlier, all the accessories are included so that would come with it and it integrates to the chassis with uh, two hooks there that are made to integrate that. So you're not trying to awkwardly hook it over like that to whatever. Okay, so on the hand of our here we have the tether strap. Now all our prams have been through the required safety testing for here in Australia. So if you want to look that up, it's AS2088. Um, it means they've been through things like tilt tests, pinch point tests, weight testing, um, and they are required to have certain features such as this tether strap. Um, the brake, foot brakes are required to be red. And when I come onto the toddler seat, there's requirements around the design of the safety harness as well. So that's what these prams have been through. So you know that's safe to use. So yeah, we have the tether strap. Um, also on the handlebar, we have the cup hop or bottle holder here, which as I mentioned is included. Now this handlebar is uh, eco leather, black eco leather, and it has actually been engineered to be breathable. So basically means uh, layers of leather with microscopic holes in. So there's a constant flow of air to the palms of your hands. So if you are using the pram on a hot day, you're not going to get sweaty palms and feel like the pram could potentially slide out of your grasp. Um, it's a lot more comfortable for you to use. Now the handlebar is adjustable too. Um, there's a hinge point on it here with a release button. So I've just released that and drop it down for storage or right up, depending on what's comfortable for your height. Going on down, the actual frame of the chassis is constructed from aluminium, so same as most prams on the market. It's an obvious choice, it has a strength of steel, it does not rust, and it's lightweight, so very key. Um, in the case of our Milan chassis, we have it powder coated in a matte black. So that's powder coated, not paint. Um, paint would be more liable to scratching, so that's the finish here on this chassis. Going on down at the front, uh, being as this is our modern style pram, we have the full 360 degree swivel wheels. So there you go, you can turn it in, a, in the relatively tight space there. Now you can turn that swivel wheel function off. Um, we do recommend you do that for folding the pram down. So there you go, to turn it off, I've just twisted two caps there at the top of the, uh, of the swivel wheels and that's um, now aligned them with the chassis. So we recommend you do that prior to folding the pram. You also find if you're walking on very rough terrain, it's a lot more comfortable for you to lock the swivel wheels as well. Um, otherwise they do get kicked around by the uneven ground and you're having to correct and overcorrect. correct. So it's more comfortable right, for you to actually lock the swivel wheels in. Um, so we have a storage basket on this Milan. I hopefully you can see at the bottom there. Now unique for this Milan is we have actually got a cover on it. So if you don't want that, sure, pop it back out the way. However, it is a zip closed cover if you wanted to. So that means, um, well, obviously you have all your baby gear in the baby bag here. So it means you can leave the house and pop your valuables, your keys, wallet, whatever, inside the purchase basket, zip it closed and you know it's safe and everything you need is on your pram. So I mentioned earlier that we have a unique sprung system on our Milan chassis, so that is to give you that sprung pram experience, but with a modern style chassis. So again, just to show you, the chassis can be rocked, and also I can put the brake on and still bounce the chassis, so I can actually still rock my baby. Um, and the last thing to note on the chassis here is the tyres. So, um, Tyres are normally available in three different materials, broadly speaking. So obviously you have air, um, absolutely the best ride in terms of comfort, however high maintenance and can explode in the car on a hot day. And um, there's also the hard rubbery plastic uh, material you could have seen around, it's EPA rubber. 
Um, very hard, a lot of impact comes through to your hands and wrists and your baby. Um, so there's that as a second option. Then thirdly, and what we, which is what we have here on our Milan, is puncture proof gel. So that basically gives you an experience, comfort experience similar to air tires, but um, entirely maintenance free and puncture proof. So all four of our tires on Milan, front and back, they're all constructed from the puncture proof gel for you. So they are the most comfortable and easy to use you can get. So that's the features of the chassis. I'll show you now how to fold it. So um, there's a red safety button here. Uh, there always will be a safety button or lever that needs to be released. Uh, that's required for our standards. So to release it on this Milan, I'm just pressing that in. Now to actually fold the chassis, all I'm doing is a lever either side there and that's released and it drops down. So that's the fold done for you. So if you want some more compact fold, I've just literally swung the handlebar in there. To pick it up, you can use the U-frame here, or obviously the either side of the pram or front and back axle. So for instance, you could pick it up like that if you wanted to pop it into your car for it on the side. So in terms of weight, all the our prams, each the components of all our prams are between five and six kilos. Um, this chassis is about 5.5 um, and the bassinet is just over 5, the seat is nearer to 6. So that gives you an idea of the weights that you will be potentially lifting um, with this Milan pram. I'll show you now how to put it up and we will pop the toddler seat on. So the very easy pram to um, actually put up. All it is is release the storage catch, which I'm doing just there. Just with one hand, pull the handle up. Um, the main frame up and there you go that's now actually clicked into place you just need to put the handlebar where it's comfortable for you and you're good to go so there you are i'll grab the toddler seat now and um we'll take a look at some of the features on the toddler seat now you will switch to the toddler seat when your baby is about six to nine months so when you do that is based upon the recommendation of our safety standards here in australia um, so that recommendation is, is you switch when your baby can sit up unaided. So that's when you are able to pop them on the floor, you're not worrying about cushions and everything behind them. Um, obviously when they're at that point, they're only a couple of hops away from being able to pull themselves up and potentially start climbing. So for their own safety, it's time to put them into the toddler seat um, because that has the safety harness in, whereas the bassinet obviously does not have a harness. So let's grab this seat and I'll show you the features of that. Okay, so I'm using the same housing that I attached the bassinet with, so literally I'm just resting it in the housing, pressing it down, you hear a click, and that's now secure and safe to use. Now the toddler seat can go on either direction, so you also have the option of parent facing, which is that way around, or world facing, so this way. There you go. So. Let's look at some of the features here. Now it's currently got the winter fabrics on, so that's this um, foot cover, foot muff here. And as I mentioned, that comes included, all our accessories are included. So to release that, I'm just unpopping the two buttons either side and I can um, put that in storage in the basket. For now, I'll just pop it to one side here. So here we have the Milan toddler seat, which you will switch to once your baby can sit up unaided. So look at the features, I'll start with the hood. Um, so it matches the bassinet pretty much, the hood bassinet, the bassinet on the hood. <laughs> and so we've got the same sun visor design here, which you can tuck in if you don't need the shade, however, pull it out if you need it. And then it's an adjustable hood. Going on down the back here, we've got a peekaboo window. So oh, that doubles up as an air, vest, air, air vent. So underneath this flap, is um, you can either have it down, it can be held by a magnet or you can roll it up. And that is an air vent, or obviously if the pram's in, or the seat's in the world facing, it means you can actually see what your baby's doing, so it doubles up as a window. Below that is the lever here for reclining the seat. So to recline, all I'm doing is lifting that lever and it's dropping back. So there you go. Now you can see as I do that, the hood does pull back with it because it's a full recline. So if I still wanted full shade coverage, I've got an expander panel in here. So 
So I've just unzipped that. Now I can have the seat reclined and the hood can move forward and be completely shading my baby. So in fact, it does come slightly beyond the bumper bar there. So there you go. You can see you can still be completely shaded with the um, seat laying back. I just zipped that up. I just wanted to show you another feature on the seat recline. So um, it's not unique to Bambini. It's just there are two different uh, recline designs on the market. So very key to show you which one ours is. And ours is a complete life lapse. So that is now laying down. The footrest is adjustable and I can also pop that up. Now hopefully you can see it's completely flat. So I just wanted to point that out. There are an, there is another design in some stroller seats on the market, which um, the seat is not lie flat. So when you go to recline the seat, it simply pivots against the chassis like that. Um, so although your baby's now lying back, the feet have gone up in the air, and the seat is still bucketed, and your baby's spine is now curved. So we obviously have not gone for that design. It's a lie flat design, um, and also means if your child prefers to sleep on his or her side or tummy, they can do that within the stroller seat. So let's um, swing it around and the only last thing to show you is the interior of the seat. So the seat interior, here you go. This insert here is included as well. So the same as the bassinet interior. We have gone for all natural fibers. So this is cotton fabric again with the same bamboo fiber padding in it. We've got um, it all wiped clean here in the toddler zone. So this bumper bar, for instance, it's eco leather um, and the bumper bar is removable or hingeable. Um, the adjustable footrest you've seen, so you can put that up or down. It's just a button either side to release that. Um, and the final point to note is the safety harness. So as I mentioned, um, it is there are specific requirements um, here in Australia for the design of the safety harness, and it's required to be a five point brake. So it's a bit of industry terminology, but basically means when I press this release button, the safety harness is required to break into five separate components, which our harness does, so you know it's the safest um, to actually use on your child. So that's the whole um, Milan system shown to you. I will now um, move on to the York. Um, so on the seat, a lot of the features are the same. However, I'll just take it from the top again um, so you can actually really see some of the differences in the design. Because obviously the Milan is a very modern looking pram and the bassinet style you can see up behind me still. And whereas the York is a traditional pram. So this is the York. I'll just get it into a position where you can see. Now the York is currently available in white and tan eco leather. So going back to our point two of our company ethos, if you like, um, it's to try, um, we're working to be standout stylish, but also still practical. So we've used leather, so it's durable and wipe clean. So um, that's the exterior. The interior, obviously, it's still all your natural fibres, um, same as the bassinet. So I'll come on to that. So as with the Milan, all the accessories that ma all the matching accessories are included. So the baby bag here, same design, it integrates to the frame. Bottle holder here, just within the handlebar. The foot covers for both this bassinet and the policy are included. And the insect net and rain cover, we just keep them in the baby bag, but they are included as well. So you're getting everything you can want in a pram system. It takes you from newborn all the way through to when you don't need um, your, to put your baby in a stroller anymore. So let's look at the bassinet features. So I'll just take the foot cover off, two proper buttons, one either side. Okay, now the hood on the end um, this your bassinet is obviously in keeping with the traditional style. So we've got the uh, traditional release levers for, um, for an adjustable hood. So I've just released them, I can now clip that back depending on where I want it, or all the way back. So there you go, there is additional um, shade. This is a little sun visor in here. You can pull out if you wanted a little bit more shade. Now I'll swing it around and you can see the interior. So as I mentioned, it's all natural fibers. So there you go, that's the interior of this York bassinet. So it's cotton and bamboo fiber. So the complete thickness of the mattress is bamboo fibre, so temperature regulating and really comfy. 
Now the lining here is also removable to be put into a gentle machine wash. So it's elastic headed around the edge. You just unpop that and you can put it through the wash. Um, this bassinet has the same feature as the Milan bassinet and the sit up support, which is unique to Bambini. So you can sit your baby up so they can see the world or if they are refluxy, you can elevate the head so they're more comfortable. So that's the features of the bassinet. The only other thing is there is um, pockets on the sides here for small item storage, so that's a zip closure there. Okay. I'll just remove the bassinet from the chasse now. So um, it's the same uh, attach and detach system as the toddler seat when I come onto the toddler seat. So it's just literally a lever either side that I pop in. That's now released and just resting in the housing, the chassis housing. So there you go, I can just pull it up and it's out. I'm just moving the chassis to one side. Um, just to show you here, the rocking base on our bassinets. So there you go. It's actually a solid curved base. Um, we use plastic on the bottom, so that means if you're switching between vehicles or whatever, you can put it down the wet ground. You don't need to worry about ruining the bassinet. But also, it's slightly cursed, so you can rock it. There you go. There are little feet on the bottom, so you can pull them out and turn this feature off. But if it's on, it obviously means you can rock your baby um, in your house with the bassinet. You don't need to bring in the wheels as well. You can just literally still comfort them like that with just the bassinet. That's the bassinet done. I will bring the chassis out now again. And we look at the features there. So this is obviously the main difference from the Milan I showed you earlier because it is the classic style chassis. So the really traditional look, uh, the coach style arch with uh, four sprung points above each wheel. Um, so that's the main difference. But yeah, absolutely brilliant, superb rocking experience there. I've just put the brake on. You can see it's still a bouncy pram. So let's look at the features here. Now I'm just detaching the baby bag, so that's a hook either side. I'll bring it up close so it gives you a bit more of an idea of the look and feel of the fabric. So the exteriors are all eco leather with tan trim and badge work. So that's the baby bag off. Now here's the tether strap. So as I mentioned earlier, our prams do meet the required safety standards here in Australia. So AS2088, so um, they've gone through weight testing and tilt tests and all that um, and they are required to have this uh, tether strap and for the foot brake, brake to have red markers on. So that's what we've got on this chassis as well. So it's got the same handlebar as the Milan, it's eco black eco leather which has been engineered to be breathable so you're not going to get sweaty palms. Also, the bottle holder is held here within the chassis, within the handlebar, and the handlebar is adjustable. So I'm just pressing release buttons here and I can move that up or down. Um, now, you will find, because this is a traditional style chassis, so um, obviously it doesn't have the swivel wheels, so you will find you have the handlebar on the York slightly lower than you would for an ordinary swivel wheel pram. The reason for that is just means you can use your upper body weight a little more to manoeuvre the pram and just pivot it like that. So I find it a lot easier to have handlebar slightly lower and hold it on the sides like this. And um, yeah, it's just a slightly different technique from using a swivel wheeled pram to manoeuvre. So the chassis on this York is aluminium, same as the um, Milan lightweight and doesn't rust. In the case of this York, the finish is it's been electro polished so it gives it that shiny finish there and also gives it some extra protection against the elements. So if we go on down we've got the traditional open wire purchase basket down there on the bottom so you can use that for storage and obviously if you want to leave the house you've got valuables with you, keys, wallet or whatever. We have also included this chassis bag so that's got a zip opening on it and you can pop your valuables in there. Any purchases can just be in the storage basket and then obviously you've got your baby gear in the, in the baby bag that's included up here on the handlebar. Um, so that's basically all the features here on the chassis. The only other thing is the tires, the same as the Milan tires are puncture proof gel. 
So the experience of air, but maintenance free. So that, that's the best you can get. And um, both front and back tires are in that material. So I'll just show you how to fold it. So we've got the safety lever here. So that's requir got requirement for our safety standards. So you must release that first. And then you just pull those levers up either side. That's going to release. It wants to drop down and round like that. For a more compact fold, you can just drop in the handlebar here. And there you go. So to pick up the pram, you can also use either side of the chasse or the front and back axles. This chasse is slightly heavier than the Milan chasse. It's um, about six kilos. Um, the bassinet is five and a half and the seat is nearly six. So that's the weights um, you're dealing with on the yoke. So to clip that in, I'm just literally pulling the, sh the handlebar around and I'm just clip press down there, it's clipped into place. And I'm just put the handlebar where it's comfortable for me. And there you go, that's the chasse. Let's grab the toddler seat. bringing the toddler seat round now so as with the Milan you can put this on in either position so your world facing so like that with so your baby facing away from you or parent facing which I'm doing here now so this is the way I'd also attach the bassinets I'm just resting it into the little hooks on the frame pressing it down till I hear a click and that's it is in now the seat is identical to the Milan seat I've just shown you the only difference is here on the hood we've got the um, traditional style levers to adjust it um, and again I'll just mention you switch to the seat when your baby can sit up unaided um, so that's about six to nine months mark just so that you've then got the benefit of the safety harness to keep them safe because obviously they're only a couple of steps away from trying to climb so the footrest is adjustable as with the Milan so I'll just drop that down and I'll show you the foot cover so that's the foot cover that comes with this York. So also could be called your winter fabrics. So if you're traveling somewhere cooler, take that with you. You can still use your pram and know your baby's nice and warm. So to attach that, you would just wrap it around the footrest and then it's a pop a button either side. And there you go. Your baby's completely covered. So I'll just, um, run through the seat features just again just a quick recap so you've got sun visor here you can push it in or pop it out obviously the hood is adjustable there's these release levers here either side um, and then going on down we've got a flap here under which is a mesh panel so that doubles as a peekaboo window or air vent and then the same seat lever here at the back that was on the Milan so I'm just raising that lever it's now released and I can drop the seat back so again the hood followed the seat back because it's attached and so I've got an extender panel in here there you go I've just opened that extender panel so I've got the seat in full recline and I've got full shade here literally just about covering my baby's the footrest on this seat so just to note again that our uh, toddler seats have a full lie flat recline. They do not remain bucketed. When you go to recline them, they will completely lie flat. So you can see that. So some, some seats obviously stay bucketed. Um, but no, we've gone for the design of a complete lie flat so that um, it's a lot more comfortable for your baby. They're not um, now trying to sleep with their legs up in the air because the whole seat is just pivoted back. So that's the seat done. As with the Milan, all areas in the toddler zone are wiped clean. So this is all the eco leather fabrics. And um, so you can wipe, wipe them clean. You're not trying to like even spot wipe fabrics. This insert here, which is included, is um, removable and can be put through a wash. So that's the only fabric thing. So it's just a bit more comfortable for your baby to sleep on. Um, and so that's we made that removable for washing. Um, as with the bassinet, it is uh, cotton and bamboo, so natural fibres there. The footrest here, by now, by the time you're using this seat, um, your baby will be wearing shoes, so we've made the footrest black eco leather, just to save you having to um, try and keep that looking nice. Um, 
obviously black hides a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, and the final thing there is the seat harness. So the same as the one on the Milan, it's required to be a five point brake harness. So that's what we've got on the York seat as well. So I'm just pressing the release button there and it's breaking into five separate components. So nice safe um, toddler harness there. And so that concludes the demonstration of both. If you have any questions on either, please do drop them in the comments box and we will get back to you. We also have a demonstration running tonight on Instagram. So that will be Instagram Live if you're following our page there. Um, and yeah, the only other thing to note is to um, register for a discount. So to do that, you just go to our website, bambiniprams.com.au. Um, scroll down, you'll see the uh, newsletter subscription box at the bottom. So pop your email in there, we'll get back to you with a 25% discount code. So we're offering that to anyone that comes onto these demonstrations. So register your email, you get 25% discount code. So that applies to either this York or Milan I showed you earlier. Um, so the full York system, newborn right through to this toddler seat stage with all the matching accessories, normally that's 1600. With the 25% off, it's coming down to $1,200. Um, Milan, it's obviously the same, um, all the same matching accessories for the Milan. That normally retails for $1,450. 25% off, it's coming down to about 1100 mark. So well worthwhile subscribing on our website there so we can get back to you with that discount code. Um, and yeah, please continue hopping on these demos if you want to see the trams more or let us know if you have any further questions. So again, thanks, thank you for coming on today. Um, hope to speak to you again in the near future. And if you want our website, it's bambiniprams.com.au. Thanks again.